Now I would like to introduce you to Sister Nicola Sofia. Uh, the education and support together can make all the difference in our lives. I would like to meet you, sis, meet, I would like to uh, introduce you to Sister Nicola Sophia, the founder of First Steps for a New Muslim from Bakley, West Yorkshire, UK. First Steps for a New Muslim is a community-based new Muslim project, and they are working towards supporting and nurturing people who are considering accepting Islam or have accepted Islam. And they also welcome born Muslims who are in need of a helping hand. Their Facebook page offers the bite-sized Islamic education in the form of fun quizzes and a weekly question answer and advice session. Recently, they have also started sending welcome packs out to people who have converted to Islam. Please welcome Sister Nicola Sofia. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, I thought it might be uh, prudent for me to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, firstly, I am a new Muslim, but not what the usual story that you would have. Um, when my father was born to a Muslim parents and um, he went out of the he went off the path of Islam but we, along with my stepmom he reverted to Islam when I was 10 years old now although he reverted to Islam none of us really actually properly practiced until a lot later on and the time for marriage came along and I was blessed with marrying um, an alim or Maulana and Alhamdulillah through him everything I know today is through my husband um, unexpectedly in my life people assumed that I would be able to teach them and people would come to my husband being the alim that he was um, and he started to put people in front of me and say look you can help this sister she's a new Muslim and this is how I came into teaching I teach adults, I teach children, and I teach both born Muslims and new Muslims. And my main uh, area of expertise, if you like, is, is new Muslims. Now the reason, can I have the next slide, please? Uh, the reason for starting First Steps was to reach out to people who couldn't come to me to learn. I found that a lot of the sisters um, had children, families, and, and couldn't get to me for whatever reason. And I realized that Facebook was and still is a potent form of spreading both the good and the bad. I had also come across a lot of misinformation amongst new Muslims as well as born Muslims. They had no idea where to go or who to talk to. Um, there's a lovely hadith which says the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, God, his angels and all those in heaven and on earth, even ants in the hills and fish in the water, call down blessings on those who instruct others in beneficial knowledge. Subhanallah. So my my idea was to give a very simple uh, to give out very simple information about the very basics of Islam, the everyday things. Then every couple of days we'd have question and answer sessions. Due to the simplicity of the language, I found that this method of teaching was extremely popular, especially on Facebook. After about two years of doing the page, another realization set in. A page is one thing, but I was receiving many, many messages from people worldwide asking advice on what books to buy, what shops to go to, what websites to use and were re reliable, and last but not least, where to get such simple things as a prayer map. And this gave me the idea, it gave birth to the idea of new Muslim packs with a little difference. They needed more help after accepting Islam. A lot of people, they accepted Islam and then they were left foundering, you know, like a someone who's thrown in a swimming pool without without being able to swim so in these packs mashallah alhamdulillah we've managed to put together a prayer map a compass a miswak a tasbih an english quran a cd with quran recitation and translation a scarf for females as well as a burqa for salah for males a hat and a perfume a bag of halal sweets various books and leaflets posters on the basics such as wuzu and salah Alhamdulillah, since starting in November, we have, with the generosity of public donations, been able to send out over 200 packs, mainly here in the UK, but also in the USA, South Africa, the Netherlands, Belgium, to name just a few. How can I help the Muslims that I know? Lack of knowledge, sadly, is the biggest cause of fitna in the world as we know it. Due to the lack of knowledge, true Islamic knowledge, people assume to know. They assume to be right, and then they feel that they know what's best. 
is also the greatest cause in bidder in all forms. No one can be a doctor without studying, can they? The same applies to Islamic knowledge, and we all need a teacher to guide us. The Prophet Muhammad said, the seeking of knowledge is obligatory for every Muslim. So that includes us, as well as new Muslims. And the Prophet Muhammad also said, knowledge from which no benefit is derived is like a treasure out of which nothing is spent in the cause of God. If and when a person accepts Islam, the correct knowledge should be available to them straight away. I have seen many people close to tears after finding out that they have been practicing something wrong due to no fault of their own. I have seen born Muslims after years realizing that they have been doing their wuzu wrong, in turn teaching that same method to their children. Elders reading Salah not realizing that they are missing Faraz elements. Whose fault is this? Our own, as we as a community need to understand that knowledge is power in more ways than one. One example is our characters. How we act as Muslims will always be an example to people of whether to learn more about Islam or not. Not only can we right the wrongs in our ibadah, but it also enables, enables us to understand that why we are Muslims in the first place. It enables us to be able to answer people who doubt Islam, to be able to put a seed of hope in the, heart, in the mind of a non-Muslim to maybe consider looking into Islam. For a new Muslim, it helps them tremendously with their non-Muslim families when a person at least understands what and why we practice something. It's almost as if they feel at ease. They cease to be at loggerheads with you. The next slide, please. Unity is a beautiful thing, even more so in Islam. The sense of sisterhood is such a strong tie. Education has the ability to bring people together, especially as we learn as one, we practice as one, and therefore we avoid arguments and leave that to those with better understanding than ourselves. The next step after this is our children, our families, and our friends. As I have already said, education, knowledge, is power. If we pass this on to our children, imagine the next generation. Imagine the level of Iman we can achieve. The last hadith is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, If anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, God will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. The angels will lower their wings in their great pleasure with the one who seeks knowledge. The inhabitants of heavens and the earth and even the fish in the deep waters will ask forgiveness for the learned man. The superiority of the learned over the devout is like that of the moon on the night when it is shining. Subhanallah. May Allah grant us all the ability to be strong, educated Muslims with the ability to love, care and share with one another.